Well, this has been a great year. I was YouTube's creator on the rise earlier this year. I've doubled the amount of subscribers that I've had. This is only the second year that I've been doing this, so I wanted to thank everyone for watching. And for those of you who are new to my channel, here's what you missed this year. Now that I have it in the starting position that I want, I've shown you this before, I like to mark the face. Somebody has already put new pistons in this engine. It shows me how much power I'm using. So right now the lights are taking 262 watts of power. And then from there, the car will need to be raised up on the lift to the level of the dyno. Now while I'm tightening this up, I'm watching these gaskets. These are the reusable silicone gaskets. So that's the guy that's been wandering around the shop, leaving little droppings everywhere. Oh, no, there's a fire under the hood there. Each of these edges, as it passes the sensor, triggers the spark to happen. I am YouTube's creator on the rise. The process to reassemble it is the reverse of the way you took it apart. Can we take it back off? It's gross. <laughs> Looks like I have some bonus bolts in here. Next up is my 1957 Lloyd LP600 Alexander. Thanks for that. Yeah, you're welcome, no problem. It's, it's nice to have a son who, uh, who likes to do this kind of stuff like I do. Or from the original XOH276, I think that did it. I found that my regulator has been sticking. If the RPM drops too low, this Mini is just soaking up this road. Well, that's it for today. I definitely got dirty today. Uh, that was quite a job to replace all those motor mounts and the transmission mount. Okay, I'm going to turn this so you can see it a little better. Then we turn the ignition switch on, we'll see the tack cycle. So how did we get to the rubber bumper midget? Right here I have all the variants of the sprites and midgets. And this is the third major body revision of the Anglia. Make sure that your point gap is set correctly. You want it to be about 15 thousandths. Again, I think I've made a huge transformation in this video compared to where we started. I have the intake right here. I'm gonna put that into the solvent and I'll pump it. These are small ultra capacitors that are small enough to fit into a bike. And sometimes there's very little of this fitting left. As you would expect with an electric car that looks like this, when I turn the key, the car does nothing. And if your pump has a red piece of tape on it like this, that means that this is a positive earth pump. We can see the charger is now turning on. And over here on the screen, I am giving a little bit of gas. Weekend, they're featuring a Sprite and Midget race, which is why I brought the bug eye out. It should be a good race. They have about 29 entries so far. I've taken just a plastic cup, cut a hole in the top, and now that will set. And they welded the center part of a wire wheel into the center of the disc wheel. So if you could see that, it's just dissolving all the battery acid off the end of that cable. 
I'm noticing down here on the floor, you can see the shifter for the automatic transmission. It is a fiberglass body, it uses Cadillac and LaSalle parts. K1200 LT motorcycle engine, and of course there's a little turbo sitting over here. I don't know how I got roped into helping with this. It's not completely horrible. There's cylinder two. I'm going to start with just hardwiring the power to the coil. I've driven over 40 miles on the dyno now. I think I'm going to stop right here. I should notice very little performance difference in the car. Okay, there's some clearance issues between the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. So I better plug this charger in and get started because this is going to take a couple days to get through all these batteries. You can see this one. Is now you can see I can let go and it will automatically pump the fuel in. I just need to raise it up high enough that when I straighten this back up that the oil pan will not hit in the front here. This is the original GT33 by Bob Sharp Racing. Now let's get out there for some hot laps so I can show you just how great this track is. I think it's safe to say that this was a pretty catastrophic failure. I want the wiring to be on the bottom of the tank. There we go. Let's see if it starts. I'm starting to see some bubbles there. So the fuel is coming back and returning to the tank. Looks like the wicker has become completely separated over here on this side. Master cylinder is going to sit up here. These push rods go in there. This manually pops up the headlights. 